Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. Dude, Santana, our first Woodstock video, I think, right? Yes. So we've been hearing, okay, so so many people in our generation, we've heard of the term Woodstock, but have not seen anything or heard anything. We don't anything know, we don't know it. about it. Craziness. Um, so with that, we oh. did uh, Black Magic Woman, which you guess it was a cover from Fleetwood Mac that he did, but he kind of like, re, like reinvented it almost. With that, you said we had to check out some original Santana, Soul Sacrifice. Now, remember, at the end of this video, uh, we're actually going to do a dive into the lyrics as well. So make sure Absolutely. you stick around for that because we're going to do it after we listen to the song. With that, let's do it, man. Okay, guys, future Alex here. So unfortunately, the video got blocked. The man hates us. So we're going to do what we normally do. We're going to put the video for free on Patreon. So you can go there. There will be a link in the description. You can see it without being a member. If you just care about our reaction to the song, that's going to come up right next. But as a quick treat, here's a video of Jack in a Rush shirt. So what idiots are we that we do the lyric analysis on a non-lyric video? We didn't know. <laughs> Wow. Holy shit. We were like, dude. stay to the end for the no lyrics, and everybody was probably at the beginning like, oh, yeah. ah, <laughs> idiots. Ah. Dude, sauce everywhere. Uh, yeah, that was phenomenal. It's The tone sounded so I don't know what happened. Crazy. Dude, dude they just... They I said, don't remember that song, and I just listened to it. <laughs> I barely... Like, yeah, I, I barely remember like, oh what happened. Oh my gosh. I just remember amazing bongo playing, the grooviest bass player just dishing it out. Dude, like, within some bell-bottom fucking jeans, just ripping it up like a madman. Santana pulls out a cowbell. Oh my gosh, dude. When when that guy can play guitar that well, and he's also like, I'm also going to play something different. The life he brought to those blues licks blows my mind. Yeah. I think the best guitarists that play in that style are the ones that make you forget that they're just like... Using random blues licks and adding yeah. their own sauce. They make you forget like what positions they're in and stuff. Yeah. But Holy I'll disagree. Shit. I don't even think it was random blues licks, dude. I think he was pulling in some like Latin styling, some jazz yeah. stylings, like very like, playing some interesting scales for sure. And that drummer dude, the guy the guy who he looked like he was the older brother on Stranger Things, you know? <laughs> yeah. And he played drums like a champ. That drummer was insane. Wow. From the very beginning, he just blew me away. Like, -da 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 -da. there were times towards like the last like thirty percent of the song where it was reminding me a little bit of "Focus" by Hocus Pocus. Actually, I don't know like what if the song is called "Hocus Pocus" or what. Either way, yeah. From that twenty k drunk reaction, it was like da da da, yeah, da yeah. da da, like yeah. that. Um, drummer was crazy. Drummer was crazy. Drummer was Santana insane. was crazy. Santana was crazy. Bassist how... was crazy. Congo, the the bongos were. Everything. Everything was great. The, the groove. The groove. Yeah. And even when Santana pulls back and has that cleaner tone, you still have the rhythm section going nuts to where there's that underlying, yeah. like, ah! Yeah. All this energy. It's like this, like, fiery, like, Latin energy. It's so, so empowering. And you I, see I how phenomenal. many people were in the crowd? I, The second yeah, they turned the camera around, I was just like, yeah, bro, crazy. What crazy, are you rating crazy, the song? crazy, crazy. Um... Do we rate it as a song or like the performance or both? Like I think how, how do performance. Because yeah, I like think, imagine being there. Uh, then it's an S. If it's if it's a performance, you're being there. I think it's an S. You think so? If you're th yeah, if you're there and you see I that, think S. I think S as well. I, I think the only reason I could think to argue against an S for the performance is some of the feedback you got from the guitar. But I think but even that was listen, musical. Listen, listen, listen. Oh. But I I think that it actually adds to the character and the culture of the song. Like being I would there, say so. like feedback that that's what happens you know what i mean and if anything yeah. it shows you how far they're pushing their tone and stuff. i'll tell you this i would even if we were in a studio <laughs> and, and you got like there are people who try to get those feedback tones that you emulate live it's like that guy yeah. just happened to have it like bomb ah bomb ah. yeah it's, it's, it's like, not a criticism but it's like if i heard someone argue it, i couldn't hate them for gosh. the argument if they're being super objective but so I, I think as performance so in a good. song this is this is s i wonder what the studio sounds like in relation to this I wonder why. it almost feels Are there like, words in the studio or did, I mean, it almost feels like why would you release like non just live records when you're that good live yeah no like, ab absolutely <laughs> craziness uh, craziness well if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much appreciate it this was awesome yeah anyone who made it to the end you guys are real ones the real ones sip to you guys ab absolutely with that being said We'll see you next video. Peace out.